My First Bible presents The Water from the Rock The Israelites continued to wander through the desert. During those trips, a long time has already passed. It had been almost 40 years. The generation that had come out of Egypt were already old, and the children were already young adults. Oh my god! The Israelite community arrived in the desert of Zin, and they camped at Kadesh. It was there that Miriam, the sister of Moses and Aaron, died and was buried. As there was a great scarcity of water, the Israelites once again mutinied against Moses and Aaron and demanded of them, I wish God had let us die in the desert together with our brothers. Why did you bring us to this desert to die with our cattle? Why did you take us out of Egypt and bring us to this horrible place where there is nothing? Moses and Aaron went to the entrance of the tabernacle and bowed down with their faces to the ground to ask God for help. And God said to Moses, Moses, take your staff, gather the people, and go to the rock in the presence of all of them. Only you will speak to the rock for it to give water, and thus water will flow from it. This way, all the people and their cattle can drink. So they did. Moses and Aaron gathered everyone in front of the rock. Moses, very old and tired of the complaints of the people, said to all of them, Listen up, rebels! Do we have to get you water from this rock? Saying this, Moses angrily raised his hand and struck the rock twice with the rod. Water flowed from it in abundance, and everyone drank. God told Moses and Aaron, Why have you disobeyed me? I asked you to only speak to the rock. Because you did not trust me, nor recognize my holiness in the presence of the Israelites, you will not enter the promised land either. These waters are known as the source of Meribah because it was there that the Israelites made claims against God and where he manifested his holiness. The people continued advancing from Cades. The Israelites wanted to pass through the town of Edom. Edom was the town of the descendants of Esau, the brother of Jacob. So they were all family. Moses sent a message to the king of Edom, asking him to let them pass through his land. The message said, Let us pass through the main road. We will not enter any field or vineyard, nor drink water from any well. We will only go through the main road until we leave your territory. But the king responded, Don't even try to cross my domain. Otherwise, I will come out with my army and attack you. But Moses insisted, We will only pass through the main road. If any of us drink water from your wells, we will pay you. But the king was decisive in his answer. You won't pass through here. So, the Israelite people took a detour and came to Mount Hor, near the border of Edom. There, God told Moses and Aaron, Soon, Aaron will depart from this world, so he will not enter the promised land. Take Aaron and his son to Mount Hor. There, you shall remove Aaron's priestly garments and put them on his son, Eliezer. And there, Aaron will meet with his ancestors.
when Moses did what God asked of him, there, on the top of the mountain, at the age of 123, Aaron, Moses' yeah. brother, died, and they buried him right there. When the people learned of Aaron's death, they cried and mourned him for 30 days. <laughs> the Israelites came out of Mount Hor, bordering the territory of Edom. Along the way, despite the fact that there was very little time left before the 40 years of punishment was up, the people complained again and began to speak against God and against Moses. Why did they bring us from Egypt to die in this desert? There's no bread or water here, and we are sick of this lousy food. Therefore, God punished them by sending poisonous snakes against them so that they would bite them, and many Israelites died. The people approached Moses beseeching him. We have sinned by speaking against God and against you. Pray to the Lord to remove those snakes. Moses interceded for the people, and God said to him, Create a bronze serpent and put it on a pole. All who are bitten and look at her will live. Moses made a bronze serpent and raised it up on a pole. Blah, 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 blah. People who were bitten and looked at the bronze serpent were healed. This symbolized faith in God. If God said that looking at the bronze serpent they would be healed, then it would be so. Through faith, the power of God could be manifested in them and heal them all. Even though the Israelite people continued to rebel and disobey, God never stopped providing them with food and water. Subscribe and share! Follow us on our social media.